a bacon roll. There is Big Cole the Bull. It's bluey. Stay. Yesterday this place was full of race goers for the Cheltenham Festival. No, everyone seems to be wearing a Welsh rugby shirt. Well it's on the border and there is a Hereford Welsh club. My shirt is red, ish. I'm not that interested to be honest. It's quite fun, but you know. Anyway, St Paddy's Day. Hey Harry, if you're watching, happy St Paddy's Day. Uh, this is Pale Ale by the Brew Brewery, BRU. 4.3% alcohol by volume. It has settled a bit. Carpet for Mr. Manny. Mmm. That is sharp, nicely citrusy, nicely bitter, well balanced, nice bit of finish, B plus in a bit. You are the staff wave at you, where everyone knows your name. Yeah, number two. Ninth wave American Pale Ale, 5.4% alcohol by volume, part of the White Hard Takeover. Right. Mm, right there. Load. Mmm. This one punches above its weight. Strong. Fruity, fruity bit of finish. Ah, big plus plus again. From era to Deutschland, I'm kind of a little bit Germanic. Well, quite a lot Germanic. Doppel sticker from U E R I G E. You rich? 8.5% alcohol by volume. Here we go. The bottle is authentic. The glass is from Bristol. It was a great glass, I gotta be honest. It's hugely malty and very nice. Oh, that's good. That looks very good. The alcohol is relatively well built. Sort of, I don't know, malty, caramelly, maybe a little bit chocolatey, strong, burnt notes. It's a sipper, and it's a B. Time for Windows Weekly. Oh, it's raining. Back on the Irish. This is Warrior Queen. Anything you can think of. I mean, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Anything you can think of. Yeah, so it's the burger, and then you've got all the usual stuff. And then you've got all this full. It's really nice. It was delicious. I ate every little bit of it. It took quite a few things because they were all really too big. <laughs> and then we did, and then we did. Last, last time we went, she had a kiss bitter. I did actually. <laughs> That's not bad. And then we had, uh, we had the game of yeah. chips to go with it. I think B plus and bitter. Chips with even more called game of yeah. chips. Did I say <laughs> Warrior Queen from the White Hag Glory? Probably not. 4.5% alcohol by the way. Yeah. Cold up time. Yeah. More sea bridges, Scotland and Scandinavia, Pilot Brewery in Duguez, Leith and somewhere in Sweden, 7.4%. Who is Fruity dry aroma. Oh wow. Funky. Fruity. 
is good. And I think it could fall over before them. Very funky, actually. B plus plus. Wow. I'm on number three. The black pig. Four point two percent alcohol. Nitro Irish stout. And sure it is. Weather. Hmm. The wind has dropped, he says, hopefully. Hmm. Smells stouty and fruity. Ooh. Quite subtle and gentle. Coffee, slight burnt notes. It's not bad actually. Oh, it works. For a stout, that's quite refreshing. Yes. Keep less in a bit. Red hot chili peppers. Tiny rebel broker from Rochester. And to Roach Brewing. I have no idea, it's all in America. However, 5.2%. Passion fruit goes. Goes up. Mmm. Really, really Mixed fruit aroma. Ooh. Really sharp, tart, slightly yeah. acidic, really excellent. I love that. That's an A minus. 3.75. Just about done. This is a collab. Amazon. Wow. A little bit heavy. From Sweden and duration, have no idea. 5.7%. This is cold. Head rush. Smells like a fruit bomb. Oh, it's a sour fruit bomb. I don't know, I mean, I said, in my nest. Really good. 